back to another review, folks. Today we are going to review on these two vintage sets over here, known as 7080, the Scurvy Dog and Crocodile set, and 7082, the Cannonball, Jimmy, and Shark set. So both of these sets were actually retailing for £2.49 sterling, but it was actually first released in 2004 under the team of Pirates. And then there are actually four plus sets as well, which back then was known as Four Juniors. Now without further ado, let's look into the details of these two sets. To start off, let's look into our two minifigures, and what you actually notice is their size is actually pretty unique as compared to current age minifigures. They're much bigger, in fact they're even bigger than medium sized minifigures, like Leatherhead for example. Another thing that is interesting is the molding of these figures. Does it kind of remind you of Playmobil, you know, minifigures? Especially how their legs and hands are actually structured. So because of this, I'm inclined to think that perhaps LEGO took a page out of their competitor's book and made these lines of minifigures back in 2004 for that specific reason of competition. Of course, it didn't actually work out in the end, but it's pretty cool to kind of see what tactics LEGO used in day. However, focusing more on the details of the figures, I would say it ain't half bad either. The details are impeccable, both of these figures have amazing and detailed back and front torso prints. And the blue one actually has prints on the pack leg as well, which you don't often see in current pirate figures. More so than that, these figures also have molded nose as well, which you only see on the Pinocchio figure of these days. And yeah, I just wonder if LEGO kind of used this line as a reference in making that figure as well. All, all the figures are pretty awesome, now let's look into the other builds such as accessories and of course our animal fit. So for the accessories, as you can see, both of these sets are actually given their own machete with one being a light grey one that you don't often see, whereas 7080 has the black machete that you see on minifigures such as Shade from Ninjago. Otherwise for 7080, you're also given a white goblet and a trans rate flask that I'm pretty sure is no longer manufactured or used by LEGO in the current age. For 7082, on the other hand, we're also given a brown chest as well, which can open and reveal a blue gem within. Nothing really special there, so I'm not going to go too far into it. For the animal fix of this set though, we are given a crocodile and a white shark respectively. If I were to choose one among the two, I would probably say that I like the shark more, just because I feel that it's much rarer than the crocodile, which appeared in many of those system sets back in the day. And yeah, all, all these two sets are pretty nice looking. The statics is way above what I would expect from the back end of the day in 2004. So yeah, I would give it a decent 8, whereas for functionality wise, considering it's more of like a minifigure pack or like accessory pack by itself, it's actually pretty decent. So I would give it a 9 out of 10. Last but not least for price to piece ratio, technically I only paid like $5 for both of these sets. And for £249 uh, pounds back to the day, it's very affordable. So yeah, I'll definitely give it a 10. So all in all, the total grade of this will probably be an A grade in my opinion. It's a very nice small kind of accessory pack and I just love vintage stuff. So I'm kind of biased, but you get what I mean when I say this is an A grade set. I feel that it deserves more attention than it already has. And yeah, that'll be all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video so far. And if you do, do make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Nox Lumos and Tudos. Ciao!